I'm not of silver Not of diamond rings Gems or sapphire skies I'm not of gold And I'm not of whispers Not of swords and guns and shields Not in a fight I'm not of kings And I'm not of chariots Not of royal beings With fire and power inside them And I'm not I'm not a rivers, but the streams with me refuse to bend with time. Bomet, Kenya. A place full of beauty and poverty. It was home to Jacqueline Chepngeno, and on a Friday in September 2019, it was the scene of a tragedy. This is Jacqueline's story. Did Jacqueline have much time to play? Mosait, <laughs> Kukatarga <laughs> Malayne. <laughs> Travel around Bomet County and you'll see everywhere the no child labor signs. They're all around. The official line here, the law, is that children do not work. But if you drive around for long enough, inevitably you'll see children picking tea. Sometimes children pick tea to help their families get by. This was the case for Jacqueline. She worked hard at school and to support her family at home, Jacqueline picked tea at weekends and on school holidays. During filming on repeated trips to Bomet County, the reality, Jacqueline's reality, was clear to see. By any measure, Jacqueline had a hard life. That she had to pick tea to support her family is testament to that. Uh, 
kita mau buat cair logo barang en asal tayar no ni buat ya ni ya mam ya mau sebut buat cair ya kita harus aku buat ya kita mau kita mau buat esok bawa aku baris segur lah segur buat cair kita mau macam kita kira ni kira ni kalau ni na mau gini atau mau ana ni mau kira ni kalau ni orang bagi esok ni kita tu pun pun kita mau macam apa tu gua mau ini tu ni dah nemi kita harus tangkap esok Ini tu, nami bar, pun aku ni mungkin ada, esok guru dia ni, ini. Pagi ni sekitar malam kan, orang ini suka lihat apa dia angkat kelas sila, aku kira aku ni kira ke, kira. Kau ni yang betul nak tanya, kau ni ada apa kau tu? Mau beri kita negi taru. Jacqueline went to school as normal that day. But for Jacqueline, it would be a day unlike any other. Jacqueline's period came in the middle of her English class. Caught unprepared, Jacqueline's blood stained her dress. On seeing this, Jacqueline froze. To her teacher, Jacqueline appeared unresponsive and disobedient. What started with the arrival of Jacqueline's unexpected period that day would soon end in tragedy. <laughs> Anya lah teh teh dah lagi kalian sini, kau nak kari, kau ingat kau kari, kau lagi di sini nih, kau lagi lagi jual matam muka, kau umur kita nunggu kari, kau lagi jengat, kita pun cawan dah agi lah dah lagi, agi semua, kau nak kau nak teri, apa kau tak ingat masuk kau lagi sehari? Kau amu orang kamera tu le, kau ATM ni naga, kau liya, kau kau liya ini mata ni, uiga, muri nurai, eh, kau kau lawa liya aja, ni dah baru baca itu kau liat na, sorbi agi nyomot itu murai, sese lagi ibu aku suruh, kau cerita orang kamera itu murai itu tuh jadi kita kau liat sebab testa, kau bagai jenguk orang jawat ni ni orang kau liat sorbi, kau rasa tuat tebe ni, betul tu kau liat ni cemen, kau lawa bat kau sorbi. Eh, wak kami jauh lah, wujud kami itu mukai. Itu orang itu kami itu hanya ingat kan? Kali itu mukai tiap hari dengan hari itu mukai aneh. Hari itu orang yang negara tabli, ibu guru guna nak beli itu mukai itu kau ini suku. Yang ibu rasa apa tu ni? Ada rasa ke apa je? Kali ya. Kebara ini kebukan juga buat tiap hari kerja lagi macam ni. Kau ada yang tahu? Kamu ada tiada belak belak. Besok kau akan dah ini, engkau ini kamu ada tiada. Kau ini kamu mana mau buat muka? Kau ini kan mana mau muka? Kau pergi beli apa sah? Kau akan lepas tak belak belak ni? Nampak kau ini? Kau akan main beli ni? Kau cie beli, kau cie beli beli. After leaving her mother to wash, Jacqueline never returned. Her body was discovered later that day. Jacqueline died by suicide on Friday 6th, September 2019. She was 14 years old. Kau ni mesti turun turun lakuan, buat kau nyuk kau nyata, kau nyuk kau gerak ni, lekat lekat itu tetap lakuan. Dah kiri kiri kau bawa yang kau ngete langat, kau ngete kau turun kau sebul, kau bawa bawa, kau kau bawa ekse kau riron, hitam biki gitu je nenar, kau riron. Jacqueline's suicide sent shockwaves through the local community. Initially, there was grief. But soon, this turned to anger. A lot of this anger was directed at Jacqueline's teacher, Jennifer Chamtai. This final interaction between teacher and student may have cost Jacqueline her life. It was around 9.50 a.m. when I went to class 6 for an English lesson. 
When I went there, we discussed with the pupils. Then I told them to write composition on that day. Most of them were not having pencils, so I told them to go and borrow from class five. The pupils went and came back to continue with their work, but Jacqueline was the last to move out. As she went out, I noticed that the girl had stained her dress, so I followed her outside. Then I talked to her. I told her that her dress was stained, but it was something normal for girls. Then I promised her to look for the parts for her, the sanitary towels. I immediately went to the staff room, towards the staff room, then I told her to follow me. Then I went towards the staff room where I found the senior teacher outside the staff room. Then I asked her if the sanitary towels were still there. Then she also immediately went to the deputy head teacher's office to look for the sanitary towels. But she came back and told me that she did not find them. Then she told me, let us wait for the deputy to come. So as she was telling me, as the senior teacher was telling me that we wait for the senior teacher, Jacqueline came and went straight towards the gate. Then we tried to call her, me and the senior teacher. We called her, but she never turned back. What happened there? When you were calling her, eh? What happened? When we called her, but she never, she never turned back. She went. Was she crying? She was not crying. She was not crying. Eh? How do you think she was feeling when she left? Eh? How do you think she was feeling when she left? I saw her, she was happy, she was, she was not having any problem. When go call it, Madame gets it on Bosian, call it Madame Mucheru and Bush, Cheru Bushera. Okay, 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 Sitting here now, reading that statement again, do you remember things differently or the same? The yes, same. Some people we have spoken to, and there are reports of this, said that you struck Jacqueline. Yeah. You caned. No. You caned Jacqueline. Ah, no. I did not cane. Did you use any physical force with Jacqueline? No. Immediately she went, she went to look for the pencil. I noticed that her dress was stained. I went outside, I followed her, and I told her, her dress is stained, but these things are normal for girls. Then I told her, I'm going to look for sanitary towels for you to use, because I knew there are some sanitary towels which are usually being issued in school. Did the teacher hit Jacqueline? Eh, <laughs> Okay. 
Caroline's. Caroline, King, 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 Kakeker is amun kingokwer matam keker. Kwarogen anya akomanda ki. Kaka kaka ko ko murit gele laga ki murit ka bavyo ne sul. Ako vet sabin. Pi gasta yo nabinyi. Aza ko ngwan ka ba. Ngwan na. Una ko nyu mebe to tin na ko nyu ko. Prita mo ngule da ka. Market ni, aku kungi ingwan, ni mau nyokra kuang itu, tu kuang kaki kai kai je tu la. Ini lo kiri tu lekoh ni tu kau, anu pakai kai kai ni, ni tau pakai kai kai ramai. Kau ni lekoh ni tu kau, ikhlas lo bok lo bok lepas muncul ni, kau tak kuang ni. Jacqueline's family said they're waiting for an explanation from you as to what happened. From me. What would you say to Jacqueline's family? I mean, they've lost their daughter. How do you feel about what happened? How are you? How do you feel about what happened? Yeah. How do you feel about what happened? How do you feel? How are you feeling? About what happened? Hmm. It's bad for such a girl to die. Do you feel any responsibility? Tafuta mwanga kwenye giza kwenye giza kwenye giza Tafuta mwanga kwenye giza kwenye giza Kwenye giza Paza sauti usikimie 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 Paza sauti usikimie usikimie
kiza kwenye kiza kwenye kiza tafuta mwanga kwenye kiza kwenye kiza kwenye kiza It's easy to blame. Often we need someone to blame. And whilst Jacqueline's teacher may have made mistakes that day, it's not helpful, it's not constructive, and it's not as simple as laying the blame for Jacqueline's death at the hands of any mistreatment Jacqueline may or may not have faced that day. Blame doesn't help us move on. We can't change things by focusing on blame. Jacqueline's story could have had a very different end. There are many people passionate about this subject in Kenya. Whilst girls are often left to navigate this journey alone, often with no support, there's a growing number of voices who are united in trying to change this story. And when I was in like grade six, uh, at the age of 13, uh, no one had talked to me about menstruation or how it happens or what to do when it happens. And at that point, uh, I was a class repre representative. I used to sit in front of my class uh, with another girl. And then one day when it happened to me, I was like just standing up to answer a question. I raised my hand up to answer a teacher and then the teacher chose me to answer the question and I stood up. That was the normal way of doing it. I stood up and, and you know everybody else is, is behind me. And I answered the question and I thought it was the correct answer. But then I heard people laughing, you know. The rest of the class were laughing. And I was just asking myself, did I even answer the question correctly because everybody else is laughing. And then I realized that it wasn't about the answer. See, some of the girls came behind me and tied a sweater around my waist. These are some of the girls who had gone through the menstruation earlier than me. So they tied the sweater around my waist and I was just like wondering, okay, what is happening? Until I realized when everybody else was laughing and it was so embarrassing, I just ran out of class, went to the toilet, stayed there for some time and nobody followed me actually. Nobody talked to me, yeah? She sings, the baby sleeps, she hears what she sings. From the high rooftop down to the sea, no one is dear as baby to me. We lift the hands, I shine and bright. Now send us light. We're struggling to like to end the the myth surrounding menstruation in Kenya or maybe let me say in Africa. People think that you, you're dirty. You're not even supposed to share. Some communities you're not even supposed to share the table with them. You're not supposed to eat with them. You're not supposed to live in the same house with them, you're just being separated. Like they just want you excluded and out of their lives for like those three or five days. Yeah. And it becomes so lonely when you people just don't want you near them. I remember there was a time I was in a market buying panties with my ten year old daughter. She was eight at that time. Uh and and, and I chose a panty, a white panty, and then asked my daughter is this pants good for me? And then she was like, there were men there and men and women selling. And then they were like, uh, and then my daughter said, yeah, that pants looks so beautiful. But then again, not good for menstruation. That's what she said. And then these women and men were just like, huh? Like, why am I 
teaching my daughter these things. It's not supposed to happen. She, she is so young. Why am I doing that? And I'm like, why not? Yeah, I need to teach her. If I'm not there and then these things happen to her, who will talk to her? If you can't talk about it, if the community can't talk about it, if the teachers can't talk about it, then who? Who will talk about it? It becomes a shaming thing, especially when young girls start experiencing periods at a very tender age, maybe 10, 11 to 13 years old, and they don't know anything about it. Your own daughter, you taught her to walk, you taught her to talk, you taught her to tie her shoes, you taught her to wipe her nose, you taught her to shower. But then when it comes to something as personal as menstruation, you say she will learn it in school. Why? She is your child. She is your responsibility. You cannot leave it to the teacher to do it. Muna Mohammed is working to break these myths, to educate girls about menstruation. Muna works at AfriPads, a social enterprise manufacturing and distributing affordable, reusable period products. They also invest in education. This is something Muna is passionate about. It's one problem, but cuts across all nations. My mission is to wake up every day and to know that at least one girl has a part. One girl can achieve her dreams. One woman can go to work and be financially stable. One woman can change her life and the life of her family and the life of her community at large. I really want to stop hearing conversations when I sit down with different women from different backgrounds and different young girls um, in different communities when they tell me, I use mattress to dignify my period. I use cotton to dignify my period. And it's so normal for them and they're so comfortable about it and don't have a problem with using less ideal products. From the moment the girl starts her period, she's already shamed from day one. It is definitely not an isolated case. Um, and people wonder or they get surprised as to, yes, it's embarrassing, but why would you take your own life? But what people don't understand is this is a very young girl who is experiencing a lot of emotions at this point. Um, her breasts are just coming out, her hips are widening, and now she's having a period. She's attracted to boys, something that never happened. She has school. She has other things to do. So, yeah, it could potentially, I mean, the older you get, the more you see it as a trivial matter, but at that age, it's a very vulnerable stage. And if you, if you never had the talk with your parents or with anyone, then it's, it's, the, it's the end of your life. I imagine the case of Jacqueline who committed suicide. After she went home, yeah, no one even followed her. No one bothered to know what was happening to her, yeah? And if she was there lonely, just thinking, th overthinking actually, and mentally being tortured by that situation of facing people and just being told that you are an, you are an embarrassment to this family, you are an embarrassment to this community, yeah? you are a dirty girl. You can imagine that situation. Yeah? Jacqueline chose the hard way of just getting away from people, just hiding forever, I'll say that, because hmm? no one was there to encourage her that, Jacqueline, this is normal, you can still do it. You know? How are you going to face all these people with that kind of embarrassment? Yeah, You see, that is when depression comes. You start thinking so many things. Huh? You start thinking, what am I going to do? Yeah, The only thing that sometimes comes to mind when you're not taught these things, just the case of Jacqueline, is like, okay, I need to get out of here. I need to end this, yeah? Because I don't need to face these people. The only way she feels like hiding from the world right now is probably by taking out her life. If I was Jacqueline, I would have done the same thing. <laughs> Oh my god. 
<laughs> I mean, it's not HIV AIDS that she has. It's period. Come on, guys. <laughs> I know. Oh my god. We need to be human to each other. We really need to show humane. We need there's so much going on. Is Jacqueline the only girl who's taken her life? Or is Jacqueline's story the one that has been shown by so many media and has been has been told to us and has been articulated in a way that we need to wake up. Is it only Jacqueline's story or is it so many other women who want to kill themselves or young girls who want to kill themselves because they lack period products? Is she the only one? I do not think so. The cup uses male educators to teach boys about menstruation it seems boys are curious. They often want to get involved in these discussions to learn more. Educated boys means less mocking, less teasing, and more helping their sisters. Men get to understand that point of a woman's life, or that one week or three days in one month, then we can be we can be able to cut things like femicide, gender-based violence, period shaming, because men are now walking with us and understand who a woman is and who a young girl is. We want to end stigma. We want to bring in gender equality. It is just a part. It is just a part. Rana <laughs> Here, <laughs> ndalo <laughs> So, Niger when you see a connect to the logo. You not an you not a gumiga or ekin, who is a good or ekin. I get it. What a little gimmuch a getter in Kiyagi Lakwan. In the gig or giddy bag in Gokin, go over your bag and I yell to try go in the gogi gitter. Mag and knife. Mag and I give you a ticket to go out cobbling one in his book. A movie, my miss, get a little nigger lane with Kagali and Inga. Change won't come overnight, but it has started. There is hope provided by those working for change. From those helping young girls just like Jacqueline, affordable period products for girls and women, education that changes attitudes bringing communities together through conversation. It's time to change the story. It's time to talk about periods 
to break the taboo and stigma. It's time to free girls from the shame and insecurity they've been made to feel about their periods, about their bodies. There is hope. Hope being realized today by those working for change. Jacqueline's last walk home, a journey without hope, is a rallying cry for us all. We must hope for change, and then we must make it happen. Yeah, so we need to be open, we need to talk. It's just about talking and teaching each other and doing away with those culture and myths surrounding menstruation. Only that way, we will end this mental torture. I don't talk about ending, ending is so difficult, yeah? We will reduce the mental torture, the physical torture, the emotional torture that comes with menstruation and that comes with lack of knowledge on reproductive health issues. And that create that free space where, actually right now me, I can go and ask my parents, my mom about some things I couldn't ask uh, when I was young because now I'm informed. So you can imagine if we start informing these girls at a young age, then they will not be afraid. They will be free. Tafuta mwanga kwenye giza kwenye giza 
kwenye giza Tafuta mwanga kwenye giza kwenye giza kwenye giza Za sauti usikimie 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 Baza sauti usikimie Yeah,